Ladies and gentlemen, today, together, we're going to find out about the new fragrance from Mancera Paris called Tonka Cola. Let's do it. Good YouTube, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you like seeing reviews and just general chit chat about fragrances. If you like the video, like. If you dislike, dislike the video. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Right, I've got a good one for you today. Well, I hope it's going to be a good one. I have got the brand new fragrance from Mansera Paris called Tonka Cola. That is right, you heard it. Tonka Cola. Not even opened, look. I've been like a little kid. I've been wanting to open it, but I've held out. I've held out for you people there at home. And I right, hold this off their initial website. This is the 120ml bowl. And they sent four samples through as well, which is great. I didn't even know that I was going to get the four samples. But they sent, look, they sent Fabulous Yuzu, Jasmine Exclusive, French Riviera and Vanilla Exclusive. And look, they're all big two mil samples. Look, happy days. Right, we're going to get on to the important thing here, people. So yes, the new one from Mansell Paris. Um, I have got the notes jotted down. I will read you them in a second, but let's just crack this open. Let's just do it. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Right, the standard Mansera box. If you owned one, you know exactly how they come. This should come with a pouch. Yeah, inside that. There's the box. Got some information on the back. Four ounces, 120 ml. I believe this is other uh, puff and concentration. Yeah, it is. Right, and then there's your pouch that it comes in. Ooh, come on. Who is it? Shutting. Tonka Cola. Right. Before I spray this, I am going to read you the notes. All right, so there's the pouch, bowl. Technically, this should be a magnetic cap. Technically, but we'll get to that in a second. Right, at the top, you've got Sicilian lemon. You've got nutmeg and cinnamon sticks and black cherry. In the mid, fizzy cola, Indonesian patchouli and orange flowers. And in the base, you've got Brazilian tonka bean, balmly benzoin, labdomum, and powdery vanilla. So, sounds interesting. Yeah. Magnetic cap. And the atomizers on these Mancera fragrances, especially the ones with the magnetic cap, are actually great. Pressurise it should be. Let's prime it. Look at that. Oh, that's good. That is good. Right, straight away. <laughs> right, hang on, let's spray this on skin. Two big sprays. Look, you see the shine. But before I get going, the reason why I don't do test strips is because it doesn't bring out the full potential of a fragrance. It really don't. I know a lot of reviewers use test strips and I'm not being tight by not ordering them. I just think that when you spray it on skin, I know it reacts different to other people because your skin chemistry but I just like to tell you what I get if you want me to start doing test strips let me know drop a comment down below and say oi Mikey use some test strips and then I'll order some in but that is why I don't anyway right back to the scent right straight away as soon as I spray that I got that cola vibe from this you can pick up that dark cherry that Sicilian lemon, you can pick that up. So it's a tad fresh, sweet, a bit fizzy. A 
you detect that cinnamon definitely it says cinnamon sticks so which is cinnamon i take it the nutmeg yes so all the notes so far you're getting that lemon it ain't like um i know some fragrances can go uh like cleaner lemon this is just the lemon is just there in the background just giving it that little bit of freshness I think it needs it because with the dark cherry and with the fizzy cola, that's going to be sweet. So I think that lemon is just leveling out the sweetness a little bit to add a bit of freshness in there. So citrusy, sweet, bit fizzy. Not really getting much florals. I'm not getting that out of them orange flowers. I ain't getting that. It's nice. It's very nice. It really is nice. The patchouli, yeah. Now, right, so that initial blast is just tamed down a little bit. You can detect that Indonesian patchouli in there. I wouldn't know it'd be Indonesian patchouli if I didn't have the notes in front of me. I, I reckon I could have picked out the patchouli, but I wouldn't have known it was Indonesian patchouli. But you do get that patchouli in there now. That initial... At 10 seconds, that's sort of just not lost any strength. It's just sort of settled a little bit now. And through the fog, so to speak, you can pick up that patchouli. So you've got that fizziness going on. Tad citrusy, sweet. You've got that patchouli in there. It's definitely warm. Like I, I think this would be great for cold weather. That's what I mean by warm. It's, it, it's nice, smooth, sweet and warm still don't get no orange flowers that lemon i can smell in there definitely the nutmeg yes but the orange flowers nah not yet anyway that might pop through in a little bit but i'm happy that is great that really is great it does i want to say it again it smells fantastic I can still smell that cola in there. As soon as I sprayed that, you could smell that straight away. The lemon and the cola was the first thing that my nose picked up. And then, like I say, as it's sitting down a little bit or settling down, you can detect the other notes. But I'm getting no orange, no, I'm getting no orange flowers at the minute. There's a sweetness. The dark cherry sweet, the cola sweet. But there's a little bit of a sweetness in the background, and that might be the tonka bean. Don't get no vanilla. No, not yet. But anyway, people, I can't sit here for an hour just waiting for it to die down. I will do an up-to-date video on this in a couple of weeks. I will wear it because it's perfect time now. It is colder weather where we are in England. You might be able to rock this on a summer night if it's breezy and it's a little bit cooler. But at the minute, I wouldn't use this for hot days. That's what I'm saying straight off the bat. I think this is going to shine in colder weather. That's what I think at the minute. But like I say, in a couple of weeks when I do the update video, I will let you know how long it lasts. When do I think you can wear it? When, where? But first impressions, it's great. It really is great. People, let me know if you've got your paws on this yet. And let me know what you think about it. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'm going to say it again. Thank you very much for watching if you are doing so. And subscribe. But you, you ain't got to. But if you want to, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.